I guess this isn't the spare room, is it? Oh, good God. Uh, good evening, Mrs. Robinson. Good evening, Benjamin. Uh, it's down the hall. That's a hell of a thing you've got on. Yeah, uh, yes, it is. Uh, would, you, would you excuse me? Is this what they're wearing back east? <laughs> it's, uh, it's a graduation gift. My, my father wanted me to show it off. Wanted a demonstration in the pool. It looks like a prophylactic. <laughs> a, a what? For the severely anxious. It's at the end of the hall. What is? The spare room. Uh-huh. Uh, Mrs. Robinson, I'm kind of distraught at the moment. I'm, I'm sorry to be rude. I have some things on my mind. It's good to see you. How are you? I'm sorry not to be more congenial. I'm, I'm trying to think. Is there an ashtray in here? No. Here's a wastebasket. Thank you. What are you upset about? T some personal things. Girl trouble. What? Do you have girl trouble? Look, I'm, I'm sorry to be this way. It's just right now, I'm, I'm sort of... I was feeling a little unsteady myself. Your mother said I should lie down for a while. Spare room's right at the end of the hall. Are you drinking? I don't drink. You don't drink? As a, as a rule. I mean, yeah, of course I drink, but not as a rule. What do you drink? Bourbon? Mrs. Robinson, I have some things on my mind. I have guests downstairs. I should really... May think... I ask you a question? Uh-huh. What do you think of me? What? What do you think of me? Um... You've known me nearly all your life. You must think something. Look, this, this is a rather strange conversation, and I, I, I really ought to get downstairs. Don't you have any opinions at all? No, look, my father may be up again any minute, and... Benjamin. What? Did you know I was an alcoholic? <laughs> Mrs. Robinson, I don't, I don't want to talk about this. Did you know that? No. You never suspected? No. <laughs> my God, Benjamin. I fall out of cars. <laughs> I insult senators at fondue parties. I mean, surely you must have formed some sort Mrs. Of... Robinson, this is none of my you business. You never even suspect Would me. you excuse me? Come back here and sit down. I'm, I'm going downstairs now. Why? Because I, I want to be alone. There are three dozen people down there. Well, then I'll, I'll go for a walk. I, I just need to get out of here. Would you drive me home? I'm sorry? I want you to drive me home. My husband's flying to Chicago. I don't like to be alone. My God. What? No. No, Mrs. Robinson. Oh, no. <laughs> What's wrong? Mrs. Robinson, you, you, you didn't... I mean, you didn't expect... What? I mean, you, you didn't really think I would do something like that. Like what? What do you think? Well, I don't know. For God's sake, Mrs. Robinson, you come into my room, you sit on my bed, you smoke a cigarette, you start opening up about your personal life to me. Now you're asking me to take you home because your husband is flying to Chicago? So? <laughs> Mrs. Robinson, you are trying to seduce me, aren't you? Aren't you? Why, well, no. I hadn't thought of it. But Benjamin, I'm... Very flattered.